Hi guys, this is Hanaline Milano, a second year college student currently taking Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and President Ramon Magsaysay State University. In this video, I will be discussing bubble sort under the subject data structures and algorithm. Without further ado, let's discuss this topic on the next slide. What is bubble sort algorithm? Bubble sort is a basic algorithm for arranging a string of numbers or other elements in the correct order. The method works by examining each set of adjacent elements in the string from left to right, switching their positions if they are out of order. The algorithm then repeats this process until it can run through the entire string and find no two elements that need to be swapped. How do computer programmers use bubble sort? Computer programmers use bubble sort to arrange a sequence of numbers in the correct order because it is the simplest type of sorting algorithm. Bubble sort does not get used much in real-world computer science. Its most common uses for programmers include the following. First, a way to learn basic sorting. Bubble sort works as a method for teaching new programmers how to sort data sets because the algorithm is straightforward to understand and implement. Second, a methodology for sorting tiny data sets because it has to repeatedly cycle through the entire set of elements, comparing only two adjacent items at a time. Bubble sort is not optimal for more massive data sets but it can work well when sorting only a small number of elements. Third and last, a sorting methodology for datasets that are mostly in order already. Finally, some computer scientists and data analysts use the algorithm as a final check for datasets they believe are already in near sorted order. How does bubble sort work? Number one, start with an unsorted list. Number two, compare the first two elements. Number three, assess the second and third elements. Number four, continue with the third and fourth elements. Number five, complete the first pass and evaluate the list. Number six, continue making passes until fully sorted. So we have here a sample unsorted array and we will try to arrange this in ascending order using bubble sort algorithm. So, first, we will start with an unsorted list. Bubble sorting starts with an unordered set of items. For example, we are writing a code for an application and need to sort the following data set in ascending order. 4, 3, 1, 2, 5. Since this is a small data set that is mostly ordered already, you can decide to use bubble sort because it is a simple code to implement. After incorporating the code, the bubble sorting algorithm puts the numbers in order by comparing two elements at a time. For each pass, we will move left to right, swapping adjacent elements as needed. Each pass moves the next largest element into its final position. So this will be shown in color yellow. Starting pass, zero this is for each element moving through the list so we will now compare index 0 and index 1 and if the first item in the set is greater than the second item in the set it swaps these items so for example the first number in the data set above is 4 which is greater than the second item in the set 3 the algorithm swaps these numbers and the new data set becomes 3, 4, 1, 2, 5. Next, the algorithm compares the second item in the list with the third item in the list, which is index 1 and 2. If the second item in the list is greater than the third item in the list, the algorithm swaps the numbers. Continuing with the sample data set, the second item in the set is the number 4, which is greater than the third item in the set, 
the number 1. The algorithm swaps these numbers and the new data set becomes 3, 1, 4, 2, and 5. So we will continue with the third and fourth elements. The algorithm continues the pattern. Next, it compares the third item in the data set with the fourth item in the data set. In the sample data set, the third number is the number 4 and the fourth is number 2. Since 4 is greater than 2, the algorithm again swaps the numbers. Now, the data set should be 3, 1, 2, 4, and 5. And now, we will complete the first pass and evaluate the list. Now, the algorithm compares the fourth item in the data set with the fifth item in the set. In the sample list, the fourth item is the number 4 and the fifth item is the number 5. Since the number 5 is greater than the number 4, the algorithm does not swap the items. The set stays 3, 1, 2, 4, and 5. And the algorithm completes its first pass. However, since the list is still out of order, the algorithm must complete additional passes. The code automatically prompts the algorithm to continue the pattern until it sorts the entire set. So we will just continue making passes until this is fully sorted. and the algorithm begins its second pass. It follows the same pattern listed in steps 1 to 5, and comparing two items in the set at a time and swapping elements as needed. The algorithm performs as many passes as needed to arrange all items in the set in the correct order. Once it recognizes that the order is correct, it stops without needing additional input. Since the algorithm stops once it has sorted the list, it is easy to know when the list is complete. When the algorithm stops, your set is ready to use.